Hello, friends. I'm Audrey Tang, Taiwan's Digital Minister in charge of social innovation. I'm really happy to be here virtually at the annual event. I'm so glad to learn that a joint report just published at the end of last month by the IRI, uh, the Future Digital Forensics Labs, and Graphica is an initial report addressing data analysis on the disinformation issue in the Taiwan January 2020 election campaign that covers the disinformation seen before, during, and after the election. I would like to express my gratitude to the excellent report that, with collaboration with many people around the social sectors and academia, provided us a shining example of cross-sectoral collaboration. As one of the IRI's work to promote digital democracy, dedicating to counter disinformation, what is also very important is to make the trust from the government to the citizens apparent. So this is what we do in the Social Innovation Lab, which is an open dialogue and service platform that all the sector of the society can work here, co-work here, and also that's where I hold my office hours and social innovation tours to collect wisdom and with the whole society and sharing them. And so this is the spirit of co-creation. And here I will take you on a tour of the Social Innovation Lab. Hello, this is Audrey Tang. I'm just walking to my office at the Social Innovation Lab. This is the heart of Taipei um, around the Da'an Central Park. And we have a new park. It's called the Taiwan Contemporary Culture Lab. This lab used to be an Air Force headquarter, and you can still see some of the Air Force building remains, as well as the trees around this place. And there's a logo of the sea lab. And you see the number 99 here? That's the Social Innovation Lab. So let's check it out. Every morning, I walk like this, around 15 minutes uh, from the Da'an Park to here, uh, on my way to work. And usually people would stop me, maybe take some pictures, maybe share what they think of our recent policies and so on. And because this is a outdoor place, um, you see people wearing masks. We've been once here uh, with no local transmissions, local confirmed cases, so we're relatively safe here. Now, although this is technically an outdoor place, um, I still have to measure my temperature, it says I'm healthy. So this is the Social Innovation Lab office center. Each center here has its own numbering system. And so the operations center is 101 with this nice information icon next to it. And this shows uh, what's today's numbers. For example, um, this morning, we're going to have a climate change mitigation conference. And so you see here this one meter measurement so that people who sit in different tables also do not need to wear a mask. Now here is a blackboard uh, that shows, well, the incubatees, uh, the teams that's currently working here. They have a co-working space and we offer anything from the um, financials, impact investment connection, um, as well as how to file their public benefit reports, how to uh, communicate to the society, to the stakeholders, and so on. And this serves, uh, in 103, this serves not only the social innovators, but pretty much any startup. And by startup, we mean any organization that's formed within five years. So even for people who are elderly or of retiring age, if they're interested in founding something, uh, here is also the go-to place. Now here you see my schedule. Anyone can book uh, my time every Wednesday. Uh, seems I'm pretty popular all the way to November uh, with this QR code. And here shows the main logo of the System of the Mongols and with the copy, Taiwan can help. And so this um, is a streetcar. The streetcar works as a city service design that works with people um, with different abilities and with a solar panel, product display and storage, instead of uh, manually um, rotating their wheelchairs, uh, we're making sure that they can serve as city guides, providing Wi-Fi connectivity, phone charging stations, umbrellas, as well as the local fair trade coffees and teas and so on, all the, in this very compact scooter. And this is just one of the many social innovations. 
So this concludes the, the first part uh, of the outdoor spaces. Now I'm going indoors and now I have to put a mask on. This is part two. Welcome to my office. Let's some calligraphy. And this is where I usually sit. And here is the visitors. Cheers. There's even a VR uh, running machine so that we can join uh, people in virtual reality quite easily from here. You can see the people playing basketball right outside of the window. So this is the kitchen. When we set up the social innovation lab around three years ago, the most voted for feature is the kitchen. And the kitchen uh, says, this is delicious food uh, from mountains and oceans. Um, not only serves as a place where people can bring their own contributions um, to the refrigerator, uh, it's actually also a live streaming place. So in our monthly social innovation tours, um, this is where people from all the 12 different ministries can share some food and ideas together and look into this very large wall with projector that projects the rural places, the remote islands, and so on uh, across Taiwan and join in a co-presence um, shared reality. Now let's take a look at the basement. There's a salon series that we invite social innovators um, to share their work. Again, the Wi-Fi, the virtual reality connection, and so on here um, has been tested quite a few times. Uh, and uh, the social innovators love the place because they can work in a relative quietness. And that's it. I wish you a wonderful event with lots of new insights. I'm convinced that all of your contributions will generate more participation around the world to protect and to consolidate the values we deeply believe in. That's liberal democracy to bring a bright society and the common future for humankind.